Welcome to the Belts and Bond. What is up everybody? Today's video is a clean with me video and we are going to be cleaning out my refrigerator. So first thing you saw was a little concoction I made with just like water, vinegar, some Clorox bleach and other cleaning items. And I'm just starting off by taking everything out of the fridge and putting it on the counter. That way I can clean out the door and the shelves inside. So once all of the items are actually out of the fridge, I go and start to wipe down the inside, including the inner part of the door. And then I also wipe down all of the shelves and the drawers that are in the door of the fridge. You know, I have all of my condiments and things in that part of the fridge and sometimes it can get a little bit dirty right there. So once all drawers have been cleaned out, I'm actually wiping off every item. And then once the item has been wiped off, I'm putting it back into the fridge. And I'm really just trying to maximize space in the drawers and make sure that like items are on like shelves. So that way it's easier to find what you're looking for. Once the whole door of the fridge is cleaned out, I start cleaning out the inside shelves of the fridge. And just like I did with the door, I'm starting by removing all of the items from a certain shelf. And then I'm going to follow up with cleaning out that shelf. So as you see, I take out the shelf, I take out the items, wipe them all down. And then I clean the items as well as the container or bin that the items are stored in inside of the refrigerator. And you see it takes a lot of elbow grease, okay? Your girl is not playing. With the glass, I really tried to take my time and make sure that all of the glass parts of the fridge were clean. That way you don't see any smudges. And I think that really helps to make the refrigerator look clean overall if the glass is nice and clean and clear. With the shelves and different parts of the refrigerator taken out, it made it much easier to clean like the walls of the fridge and the back part of the fridge, like behind where everything is, just in case there were any spills or anything that happened. There's a lot of juice um, that can get spilled in my fridge. I have a three-year-old, so his snacks and different things can sometimes spill. So I'm making sure to wipe out everything. That way it's all nice and clean once I put everything back.
I think these big drawers at the bottom of the fridge were the most time consuming to clean because again I'm taking everything out and then I'm definitely going to scrub down the drawers and make sure to get those as clean as possible as well. You also want to make sure you turn them over and clean the bottom side of the drawer because that's where a lot of things can spill and then that's going to get in the bottom of your refrigerator. So once that drawer is all clean, I return it to the refrigerator and after that, it's pretty much all done. So this is the finished product of my refrigerator that has been all cleaned out. Everything has been stacked nicely with like items on the shelf. Everything contained, that one jelly container on top of the other just bothers me, but I had nowhere else to put it. So. And then because I cleaned out the refrigerator, I also took out food that was old. So now we had to go grocery shopping because as you can see, it was pretty much bare. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to be bold, be blessed, and be bonded. And in this time, please stay safe. We love you guys and we'll talk to you guys later.